and empowering the Ugandan diaspora. It takes a village. Africa 54 starts right now. Coming up, Ugandans in North America, how the community is promoting entrepreneurship as a way to increase youth employment. Stay with us. Welcome back to Africa 54. African communities are quite active in North America. It's looking for solutions to various concerns and challenges. Africa 54's Paul Indiho recently attended one event and he joins us now with the details. Paul? Thank you, Leonardo. Ugandans from uh, southwestern Uganda recently gathered here in Washington, D.C. for their 11th annual International Community of Banyachigezi Convention. This year's theme was Innovations and Entrepreneurship for Youth Employment in Uganda. Earlier this month, a group of Ugandans under the umbrella organization, the International Community of Banyachigezi, descended into Washington, D.C. The organization attracts Ugandans from South and Southwestern Uganda, based in the United States, Europe, and Canada. Anne Karasanyi is one of the organizers. We were very honored to discuss entrepreneurship and youth employment. The event is dynamic. It supports Ugandan culture, vocational, business, and technical training of young Banyachigezi through the creation of institutes of excellence. It also incubates ideas and addresses key issues. Dennis Akankunda Bweseje is concerned about Uganda's rapid population growth. I'm somebody that is deeply feels for the population growth rates in Uganda. And uh, I've been touched by some of the conversations that happen, especially by our leaders. I feel like uh, they are not doing enough to sensitize our, our people to make informed choices and have families that uh, they can educate, they can afford treating, and they can shape their dreams and futures. Other topics on the agenda included how to empower women and girls and how to create jobs for young people in Uganda. I am interested in investing across the agricultural value chain in sub-Saharan Africa to help with uh, community development. Moses Kamya, an IT specialist based in the state of New York, says there are many ways to empower young people. One way is to get them acclimated with IT skills. A lot of our young people have actually gotten a lot of uh, um, information and know-how just using that uh, smartphone because uh, it's actually the most powerful information technology device that exists today. Um, and as they use that device, uh, they are finding ways of uh, applying technology in a lot of uh, areas that actually help their lives and uh, those of the communities in which they live. There were exciting displays of fashion, arts and crafts, and a variety of countless other activities. The, the presentations we had at uh, this convention were beyond my expectations. They actually blew my mind off. I was, uh, I can't possibly imagine what, what it will be like next year because they have really set the standards very high. The convention guests are kept off the day by sitting down with family and friends to enjoy a grand fundraising dinner that included cultural performances and live music. The group also prides itself as a non-partisan group and tries as much as possible to steer clear from politics. But some critics are used at this convention to criticize the Ugandan government. However, that was countered by government representatives. Uganda is putting most of the money in infrastructural development, in electricity, in roads, railway, water. Ugandans are from different parts of Chigezi region in southwestern Uganda represented their districts at the convention as they danced the night away. 
I should also add uh, that uh, over the years, uh, the Ugandan community has attracted millions of dollars uh, from African Development Bank and other donor agencies uh, to support education programs and technical skills development in southwestern Uganda. Back to you, Linard.